हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम शुना तकते एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल लर्न अप ट्यूटोरियल्स यू ग्रो विथ स्किल्स प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टू गेट ऑल काइंड ऑफ वीडियो नोटिफिकेशन हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक ऑन Speech Act theory. The concept of speech act, and uh, what types of speech acts are there uh, by the theorist J. L. Austin. Uh, so, so I begin with the conceptual uh, background of. speech act theory so friends as you know that what is the purpose to use language or language items so here we can say we often think that the role of language is to explain to inform to describe and to say something about the world means the sky is blue the water is green the water is blue the water is crystal clear so we are just stating the condition or the facts so language works on that factual things it works beyond the factual things how does it work so we use language we can also use language to do things means for doing something for forming something we use a language such as to promise to bet to request Uh, to uh, to warn someone to apologize to swear and in some cases to threat somebody to threat someone we can use language yes so language works on the level of doing that is performing we can promise the act of promising something means i promise that i give you 400 rupees tomorrow okay that is not a, a statement only this also has uh, the doing or the act of promising i simply a uh, bet something that if i couldn't do this i will uh, give you 500 rupees if i lost in the game i will give you 500 rupees or that you will not win this contest i bet you will not uh, win in the contest so this is also on requesting please uh, will you please keep quiet it's a request okay or you can also perform uh, by saying that uh, will you please uh, give me a piece of paper a glass of water or a bunch of flowers so that is performing aspect of language that you are requesting someone to pass on something okay or you can threaten someone stop this nonsense otherwise i will complain uh, to the authority or you can simply threaten someone that 
don't show your face me anymore otherwise i will thrash you so simply saying this can create a great impact on the hearer on the listener yes then to warn someone don't cross your limit otherwise i will beat you hard otherwise you will be punished that is performing of a warning or you can simply apologize i am very much sorry for uh, what i have committed what i have done i admit my fault i am extremely sorry for that so this is apologizing for something or i swear something if you are in the court if you are in front of the magistrate and giving your uh, consent uh, giving your consent uh, in that occasion you can simply say i swear that what i have uh, what i saw that is 100% so these are the things that we do with things so jail or still expressed his uh, theory of speech act theory uh, theory on the speech acts in his book how to do things with words so that is the performative aspect here in his book Uh, how to do things with words that is written and published in 1955 uh, here uh, his remarked uh, one statement that it was for too long the assumption of philosophers that the business of a statement can only be to describe some state of affairs or to state some fact which it must do either truly or false false so simply saying is not the only function of language so language should also do something doing a favor making a request hmm? warning somebody hmm? requesting uh, or if you can say Uh, that uh, uh, yeah uh, taking an oath or saying or swearing with okay so uh, in a statement wittgenstein says don't ask for the meaning ask for the use language as a vehicle for social activity so here uh, we'll see one more Uh, remark by uh, austin austin suggested that most utterances are created not to describe but to perform actions here this statement is very important in uh, a lead to speech act theory that uh, that however uh, the utterances are made most of the utterances are not for simply describing something they are uh, to perform actions yes these actions request uh, to threat uh, to apologize okay or uh, uh, the same kinds of uh, the actions his approach was not of what do sentences mean so his approach was to what kind of act do we perform when we utter a sentence if i say that my eyes are not working properly i am getting problem in seeing into uh a notebook so this may perform this uh, statement this utterance may use uh, to say something 
to perform something differently here so here uh, we'll move to some theoretical uh, things about uh, speech acts speech act theory treats an utterance as an act performed by a speaker in a context with respect to an addressee so that speech act an utterance as an act performed by a speaker this is an act performed by a speaker in a particular context with respect to an addressee that utterance is made for an addressee or addresses okay keep quiet if a teacher says uh, this utterance or uses uh, use this utterance uh, in the classroom that is uh, meant for the addresses the students if teacher says stand up so that is indicated that you students stand up okay so austin has mentioned in his book that it was uh, too long the assumption of philosophers yeah the same statement is here also uh, that we have seen before john sell has uh, remarked somewhere that all linguistic communication involves linguistic acts so any type of communication is possibly a type of act a type of action a type of performance or doing speech act theory attempts to explain how speakers use language to accomplish intended actions and how hearers infer intended meaning for which is said so a particular form of meaning or uh, that conveying of meaning is used by the speaker so speakers use of language uh, that identify that accomplish an intended action and that how hearers infer uh, intended meaning for which is said here so there are levels of speech acts this is uh, the next point uh, in our study uh, that speech act uh, there are three levels in speech acts and these three levels are first is locutionary speech acts then illocutionary speech acts and then per locutionary speech acts so in the first place what we can see a locutionary act is the act of producing a recognizable grammatical utterance in a language that utterance has a meaning so that utterance conveys a particular meaning that is locutionary act if i say that i came early or i came today so this is just of an act of producing a recognizable or a grammatical utterance that utterance is self explanatory that i am a very kind person i am a straight forward person okay in an illocutionary act 
the attempt is made to accomplish some communicative purpose if i say something that i want to intend something that that is something is intended if i say that you are talking so fervently yeah? you are a smart boy hmm? you are a smart boy so i don't want exactly to communicate the same i want to say yes you are not that much smart but you are showing your smartness you are smart one na okay so that is to communicative purpose it is communicative whatever is not said that is intended or that is expected that is implied kind of meaning or that is illocutionary act the attempt to accomplish some communicative purpose in a perlocutionary act that is the effect produced by the utterance in a given context that that is a kind of effect on the mindset of hearer <clears throat> if i say it is too hot so a hearer or the hearer should switch on the fan so that i get some soothing i may get some relaxation uh, from heat okay if i say i am thirsty so what is intended or what kind of uh, the effect on the hearer that the hearer should bring me a glass of water okay that is perlocutionary act so it should be noted that while phonology syntax and semantics focus on the locutionary act pragmatics focuses on the illocutionary act the aspect of the speech act which specifies what the language is being used for in a given situation so locutionary act is at the level of phonology at the level of morphology at the level of syntax or semantics we can understand whatever is said but in order to under, uh, get the meaning of the utterances at illocutionary level will have to uh, acquire its language uh, what we can say the function of utterances some uh, language use techniques okay that may be hidden that may be implied that may be uh, intended yes and in other words a locutionary act has meaning it produces an understandable utterance an illocutionary act has a force locutionary act has a meaning a sense whereas illocutionary act has a force it is informed with a certain tone attitude feeling motive or intention to achieve a purpose you are smart ha huh? so there is an attitude a tone sorry so this is also a kind of saying sorry is different than sorry okay so these are having illocutionary forces so here in a perlocutionary act has consequence so we expect a change in the mindset or in the doing of a hearer that is perlocutionary act 
so here it has an effect upon the addressee by describing an immensely dangerous situation in locutionary component in a tone that is designed to have the force of a warning locutionary component now the addressee may actually frighten the addressee into moving poor locutionary component in a very good example uh, my teacher dr umesh jagdari uh, often give in his presentation uh, and that example is from uh, monkey's paw that famous one act play and in that one act play uh, there is a scene of using that monkey's paw a dried uh, paw of um, a monkey and that is used for some magical tricks and in that trick he uh, has to hold that uh, monkey's paw and uh, wish for a uh, ask for a wish that to, to fulfill a wish and on that same time if you say for a wish if you wished for something and that paw moves and uh, so uh, my sir uh, he performs that act uh, that scene and he says it moves so uh, that kind of performance that kind of tone that kind of action feelings create a kind of fear in the mind of the hearers okay so uh, th there is a performance oriented uh, theme in drama also and uh, there is a performance in language also so linguistic performance and uh, uh, the dramatic performance uh, the thought to express and uh, to communicate uh, that with an effect so uh, these speech acts locutionary illocutionary and per locutionary acts these are really uh, important to study from the linguistic uh, perspective and from the performative perspective so uh, hope you have enjoyed this lecture in the next lecture we'll come with we'll discuss uh, with a new topic so thank you very much for listening to and viewing and watching to my uh, video lecture thank you thank you very much.